September the 19th, Monday, the third week of September. And it is next to the next to the last day of spring, a summer. And fall this year is not on the 21st, it's on the 22nd. And I believe it's at 9 a.m., the autumnal equinox, when the length of the daylight equals the length of the nighttime. Hey, Google, when is fall? When is the autumnal equinox? In the northern hemisphere, autumn equinox will be on Thursday, September 22nd at 9.03 p.m. Eastern Time. What time did she say? Thursday the 22nd. The Bible passage is the first letter by Paul to the Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. It's all about our favorite love. If you can accomplish this, and if you've done this, and if you've earned this, and if you've got this accolade, and so forth, but you don't have love, it's a tinkling, a tinkling symbol. It means nothing. Nothing means anything. Anything means nothing <laughs> without love. Uh, the hymn. I had a special one for you. Okay. So let me take one of the more recent ones. Come thou all happiness. Helping the world you go. Caring and sharing. Happy all glorious, or all victorious. Gone is the selfishness, ego is out. The word, advocate. An advocate pleads a case for another. I will plead your case. An advocate pleads a case for another. Where's the purple tie? Don't know. Can't find it. Can't find the notes either. Bad. Billy, Billy, the piano teacher will be here in 15 minutes. Did you wash your hands and face? Yep. Did you wash your ears? Yep, I washed the one next to her. We had a new Sentinel watch. Uh, it was Jenny Sawyer interviewing a woman from Australia. Is it true that their transmission was live from Australia? Because it was perfect. The audio transmission was perfect. And the woman was saying about all the baby goats were in and all of the mother goats were in, but one little goat. And she couldn't find that one little goat. It was getting dark and cold, and she couldn't find that little goat. And then she said, God, you know where the little goat is. And she began to think of her oneness with God. You know, the allness of God, the oneness of God, the wholeness of God, the onlyness of God. And she said, as we all are, we're all the one mind. 
And so she called upon that, and instantly she found the baby goat. And the sole topic was on oneness, your oneness with God, your oneness with happiness, your oneness with love. No partnership with selfishness, egotism, and me first. The oneness, wholeness, onlyness, allness of God, of love, continuous. Uh, Glendora apologizes that she forgot to call Ashley Storm to wake her up to get to church in time. However, she called her later and Ashley was up and going. But Ashley broke her appointment with Glendora. She was due here at 9.30 to help Glendora and for Glendora to help her. She said she would return the Christian science with key to the scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy. And Glendora said, well, did you read the last 100 pages? Well, no. I said it was the last 100 pages that had all of the testimonies of people who had terrible things happen to them. And you just wept your heart, just wept its heart about the terrible things that happened to the people, accidents and injuries and sickness for 10 years and in bed for 10 years with ailments. But then they became healed when they found their true relationship with God, and you know what that is, love and love only, and that God is spirit. That you're not run around all your life by these physical ailments. God is spirit. And you realize that, and spirit doesn't get sick. Uh, then they were all healed. And that's what I wanted you to read, Ashley Stern, because it makes you feel so great, and I'm hoping for a healing for you. On your multiple difficulties. And then Ashley Stern said, okay, I'll come over after church. She's talking about the Reformed Church in Nassau Village. But she didn't. She broke her words. So Ashley is out the same way Patricia Blanchett Pittsfield is out. You have to keep your word. You have to keep your word. And the grandfather said to the grandson, two pieces of advice. You always keep your word, grandson. And the second piece of advice is don't give it. Uh, Wayne thought that the uh, 75th reunion uh, the year 1965 Pittsfield High School was a good and bad. It was good news and bad news. It was good to see them, but they all looked different. <laughs> and that's what our parents do to us. Remember that this is what your dear parents are doing to you. What dear parents? Father time and mother nature. Uh, one of his favorite people was beyond recognition. He didn't even recognize her. He wouldn't have known who she was if she didn't have on a name tag. Well, this is true about reunions, but I wouldn't take it as a mixed blanket blessing, Wayne. I would not take it that way at all. You take what God gives you and you say thank you and you move on. This is the way God wants it. And we read in Comptons and we're on volume S as in Sam in Compton's Encyclopedia, published in 1957. And we're read many interesting things about what God is doing. That's why we read the Encyclopedia, because it tells you about God's creation and operation. And we're over 100 page on that. 
We read volume S, Comptons, and then volume T is in Tom, U, Comptons, and we finish the 600s, 700s, and 800s of the World Book Encyclopedia, volume P is the Paul, and then we just have one left, volume W, X, Y, Z. And now I made it a goal. I've actually made it a goal, folks. I want to finish reading a set of encyclopedia, A to Z, before going on to my next metamorphosis. I made it a goal. Uh... Glendora did all of her telephoning. She had a great talk with Walter Balfour, who is 97 years old. And he was having a treat with his son and his son's wife, Linda. And he was so happy about getting the package in the mail, the package of candy. He was so happy about that. And now I'm going to try to get him, um, you remember those hand toys they used to have where it's like a pinball machine and you try to get the ball into the hole and you get so many points? Something like that to uh, challenge his hand work and his eye work. And I've asked Bill, Phil, Eddie, to look at Walmarts for something like that. Of course, there is a computer. Do you think that he could uh, do a cell phone? If he can, I have an extra cell phone that came up from Patrick and Suzanne that I could loan him. Maybe that would be the thing. Uh, we did the voicemail. That's all up to date. How many phones do you have? One. The phone without any wires. The wireless phone. Uh, the uh, straight talk phone. The uh, spectrum phone. And then the landline. And then we have you. Alexa. And after we did the... I missed something. Can no, you say I... it again? No, thank you. Cancel, Alexa. Thank you, anyway. Mm. So after we did the voicemail, we did the new people. There's about 20, 25 new calls that have come in, and you go through them and see if you should call them again. Probably the biggest thing that you're interested in that we did, oh, we also did the apps. I've listed 35 favorite apps. I haven't explored them, but I'm just fascinated by the whole panorama of apps. A-P-P-S. Uh, Consumer Direct sent us the papers, and they made the forms all out. We have three employees who are getting a bonus of $350 each. I'm not going to give it to them unless they do their work and do it well and do it right. Well, it would be something for you, Glendora, to do your work and do it well. You make more mistakes than anybody, Glendora. Anyway, $325 to Amy. $325 to Phil. And $325 to April. And all I had to do was sign it. But I'm not sending it in until their work is good. And my work is good. Now, you could have had that, Gina. 
cook. You could have had that if you hadn't done what you're never supposed to do. You shouldn't. If you have an argument with a boss, it's best to see both sides, his side and the outside. And you could have had that. All the other people who chose not to be good workers. Well, look at you, Patricia. You chose to go to a soccer game instead of going to work. Now where are you without a job? Uh, the candy came from the Vermont candy store. It's a disaster through and through. I asked for butterscotch, thinking it would be homemade butterscotch. What was it? Reed's butterscotch. And Reed has failed us entirely. Back in the 1940s, Reed made a delicious butterscotch hard candy. And then they changed it into nothing. It's inedible. Out it goes. And then, I thought they were going to send us coffee, a toffee. And what did they send us? Those old twirls that you could buy at any candy store with a white twirl in the middle. A nothing. And we paid $124 for this. I don't know about the licorice. I put it in the refrigerator for Sandy for the next time she comes Thursday. Australian licorice. So, and I can't have a sponge candy until October because it melts and flattens down. And I'm going to try another candy store, and this time I'm going to be a smart buyer, not be a dunce. Boy, that was terrible. I'm sorry, Franklin. We planted a seed, a bag of uh, tangerines, or whatever you call them, those small oranges with the loose skins. And there was a seed in one of them out of a dozen. So I took the seed and asked Amy to plant it in the middle of the plant pot, water the soil. I had to teach Amy how to make hash. You take a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, you put it on the uh, top of the uh, electric stove. You put it on the burner to the top right at a very, very slow cook at maybe 35 after, 25 of, a very, very slow cook. And you salt it and pepper it. And you let it cook maybe 10 or 15 minutes while you're doing the voicemail. And then you take the vegan cheeseburgers by Morningstar Farms. And you put those in with a hash. But she didn't want to put them in with a hash. She wanted them to go to the oven, the toaster oven. And she did a good job on them. And this... Uh, uh, vegetables, they were frozen in a bag by bird's eye, and they were broccoli and sweet potato and white potato and I think maybe another vegetable. Excellent. Excellent. And then when it comes out, you put butter on the hash, and you serve it with ketchup. Well, I hope she learned it. A thorough going over of the refrigerator. And there's only a few things, she says, left in the freezer. And we don't know what's in the coolers. Everything has to be undercover here on account of mice. And we haven't had any mice for two, three weeks. Three blind mice. It's not a good song. And we did a good job in think folder one, think folder two, think folder three, and on the diary. Amy didn't feed the birds well out behind the garage by the 
bicycle path. And I don't know how well she fed the squirrel hair. And we didn't do the trust. We did not do the errands list. We did not read Franklin's newspaper articles. And we did not go through the museum. Not a good day. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But we did read the advertiser to you, and we gave you ten different jokes, and we gave you a new hymn, and we gave you a new Bible passage. Patricia looked up on Google. Uh, 100 favorite Bible passages. And also you can look up like 20 favorite hymns. All right. Hey, Alexis, what time is it, please? Hey, Alexis, what time is it, please? Alexis, are you upset with me? False alarm. Alexa, what time is it, please? The time is 7.54 a.m. Thank you. Enjoy your morning. I enjoy, enjoy every minute of your life and be happy and help others. And help me do it, too, would you please? Hey, Google, what is the temperature, please? The temperature in Nassau currently is 64 degrees. 64 degrees. Thank you. Helping others, you'll enjoy it. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs>